All right, thanks, Joel. Parents, we know it can't be easy to watch your children who are learning remotely this year to get lost in a lesson or struggle with assignments. You probably wish you had a tutor or teacher at your disposal a time or two. One East Texas school created a virtual learner hotline for this exact reason. The Morning Loop's Dana Huey takes us to Brownsboro for this week's Lessons Learned. If you're at school and you're not understanding a new concept, you simply raise your hand and the teacher's there to help you. But it's not that easy for virtual students. Oftentimes it requires an email if they feel comfortable reaching out at all, which is a lesson that Brownsboro ISD learned a few weeks into the school year. About three weeks into our school year, the data was showing us that our students, and, and we were monitoring 7th grade through 12th grade, so that was about 230 students. Um, the majority of them were not doing well. They weren't keeping up with their progress. They weren't keeping up with their grades. Laura Ballard, a principal at Brownsboro ISD, says they found themselves resetting assignments and calling the students. And tell them when you get into this assignment, the next time call us and let us help you through that. Then one of those light bulb moments. I mean, we've got, you know, we've got high school kids trying to earn credits and, it, you know, if we keep this up, it isn't going to happen. So we had to step in. Ballard and her team of teachers at Compass Horizon Academy realized what they needed was a hotline to give their virtual learners the best chance to succeed. She ran it by the other principals in Brownsboro and Superintendent Carrie Hampton. Everybody supported the idea. It was just a way to provide another layer of support for our kids um, and hopefully, you know, turn around the situation that we saw unfolding in our district. So um, that's that's really how it started. So who mans that hotline to, to help? So it is all of my teachers and myself. So I have four teachers on my campus. All of the core area um, are covered by certified teachers. At first, they set time parameters for students in seventh through 12th grades to call in, but then they just opened it up all day. Ballard said it took a little time to get off the ground. But here towards the end, they're they're really calling us quite a bit. So, you know, it's it's just uh, I wish that we would have had it in place from the very beginning, but it's just a lesson learned. So when they're calling in, what kind of questions are you getting as this process unfolds? The majority of the questions we receive are on algebra. Um, algebra, Algebra 2, and on English, writing, um, essays, uh, filling out graphic organizers. Um, so I would say that the 90% of the calls we get are math and English. And if they can't walk students through their questions over the phone? Then we will move into a Google Meet where we can, you know, face-to-face -face do some teaching. Ballard expects more virtual learners will be returning to campus in the next nine weeks, but the hotline will remain open to help students who can't. It, it just makes your day when you can help a student. It makes your day when you can see that they finally get it and um, they can move on and they're not stuck anymore. And so that just means the world to us. The hotline for virtual learners could be a lifeline until they get back on campus. We've got you covered. Dana Huey, CBS 19. They plan on continuing the hotline as long as virtual students need them. If you have a lessons learned story to pass along, email education at cbs19.tv or text us at 903-600-2600.